Last week, we reported on the Sacramento Police Department teaming up with the Sacramento County DA's office to solve a 44 year old murder case of a young mother who was stabbed to death inside of her own home. Law enforcement credits DNA for cracking the case, which led to the arrest of the suspect who is now 81 years old. Thanks for being with us here on your Sunday. I'm Zach Boetto. Fox 40's Rowena Shaddix spoke with retired Sacramento County District Attorney Anne Marie Schubert and the grandson of a woman murdered back in 1989 who share their thoughts about the importance of DNA evidence in solving more cold cases. We absolutely adored her. We spent a lot of time over there and have many, many memories of her and her house. Mark Jasper was a young man when his 80-year-old grandmother was murdered inside her Del Paso Heights home back in 1989. Mark says his nana, Sophia McAllister, helped his mother, who was a single mom working full-time, raise him and his three siblings. The hugging and kissing. We got four little kids who we're all in our 60s now, our memories of her have not diminished one bit with regard to our feelings for her and our love for her. Anne Marie Schubert was the district attorney when the suspect was finally captured 20 years later. And she was found, you know, beaten to death, raped and murdered in her house. And it went unsolved for many, many years. But ultimately, the, the, the sole reason it was solved was because the perpetrator was arrested on a felony drug crime. This is before Prop 47. And because of that felony arrest for that drug crime, his DNA was taken, and that's what solved the whole case. Sacramento became the forefront in the world of DNA in 2018 when deputies arrested Joseph D'Angelo, also known as the East Area Rapist and Golden State Killer, more than 40 years after he committed his crimes. One of the Golden State Killer victims has really rightfully said that this whole use of genealogy has created a seismic shift in our world of crime solving. The D'Angelo case and use of DNA has resonated with many loved ones of victims of crime. For me and my family, it would be critical to know we have the right person. I was in the house after the crime and I saw all the fingerprint dust all over the house. I saw palm prints that look like complete palm prints on the window where he came in. And I was amazed to find out how difficult it is to get a fingerprint. So none of that worked. But DNA is like, you could go to bed at night knowing that the person who left that DNA at that scene is the person that matched and there's no subjective aspect to it. Law enforcement officials say that the collection of DNA evidence diminished greatly with the passing of Prop 47 when many felony theft and drug cases became misdemeanors instead, preventing cops from collecting DNA. We have reached a point with all of our tools, including genetic genealogy, that we have the power to solve potentially 90% of crimes that have DNA in, in that are, you know, currently in our DNA data bank. And we ask a lot of crime victims, but it's our obligation to do everything in our power to solve those cases when we've asked somebody to undergo something that's such an invasive kind of procedure. And so with this ability under Prop 36 and our ability to now to, to kind of start ramping up on DNA collections, we're going to solve more crime. We're going to solve more sexual assaults. We're going to solve more murders. And ultimately, that's going to make us better as a society, hold people accountable and ultimately prevent crime as well. In Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.